Recently, Neko, creators of the original Sweetheart Conversation Hearts, filed for bankruptcy, putting the supply of their infamous Valentine's Day candy hearts in jeopardy for this year's holiday. Seeing a potential opportunity to fill that gap in the market, I set out to try and make my own. As always, starting from scratch and adding my own unique twist. Once again, like my previous attempts at candy, I'll be using sugarcane, but this time, to attempt to make it extra sweet, I'm also going to use some natural sugar substitutes, including super sweet stevia, as well as another that can be extracted from onions, with the addition of a variety of natural flavors I've collected. Then, for the sweet little messages, I thought I'd pull some inspiration from the loving YouTube community and print them with some actual YouTube comments. First up, let's harvest my stevia, which I planted in my garden earlier last year, and then proceed to forget about it as everything else grew in. Mmm, that is very sweet. So I forgot where I planted this. I know it has these like rough jagged leaves. So it's basically tasting everything that looks like that. And most of it was like itchweed. Yeah, I mean, people make tea out of it, but it does make your tongue itch. Stevia is a plant originally native to South America, where it's been used for 1500 years by native Guarani people. Stevia is several hundred times sweeter than regular sugar. And as a sugar substitute, it reacts to the taste receptors of the tongue similarly to sugar, but because it isn't metabolized, it has zero calories. So now to try and extract the sweetness from the leaves. <laughs> Not really the greatest by itself. So I'm gonna grind it up in the coffee grinder, boil it and extract the sugar substitute. So let this guy simmer for a little while and now I'm just gonna strain out all the solid matter so I can hopefully be left with a granulated stevia. After letting the sediment settle, I boil up the water, then dissolve it in ethanol and strain out any new precipitate once more. And then just need to boil off the ethanol. So one issue with the stevia is that if you ever buy it, it's actually almost never sold by itself. It always has at least some other ingredients included with it. It's a combination of a few different sugar substitutes to kind of balance them out. So to make my stevia work, I'm going to try a compound called inulin. It's a, a kind of a neutral flavor, slightly sweet. It's in a lot of different vegetables, including onions. There's a chance the onion flavor will come with it. That might be a little interesting. Let's give it a shot. So emotional when I cut onions. Ooh. Ooh. Milkshake. So basically I'm gonna make an onion smoothie, then uh, soak it in hot water for a couple hours and then strain it and separate it. Then run the solution several times through the charcoal Brita filter to try and remove any residual sugars in the solution, and then leave it to boil down into a solid. Commercially, most inulin is usually manufactured from chicory root, which doesn't quite have the risk of the oniony aftertaste. So we'll see how mine turns out later. Next, I'll need something to help give the hearts a little body. Gelatin using a common source that I've been able to use for ingredients for several different projects already. A pig. I think that looks pretty good. Sorry, Mr. Oinkerton. You're not gonna wanna see this. Look away. One of the important ingredients for making the candy hearts is gonna be gelatin, which is gonna kind of give it some structure. Previously, I've tried to make it using a random bone I found in the Wyoming desert along the Oregon Trail. The result wasn't very effective. It didn't have much gelatin that I extracted and ended up with a very meaty flavor. So this time I'm gonna try something a little better, a little bit fresher. I got some pig feet. We got a little bit more actual gelatin and the cartilage and then skin and should hopefully have a better result. So I'm gonna boil these guys, rinse the water, then boil them again to get rid of as much meaty flavor as possible, then just slowly simmer them to kind of extract the gelatin and hopefully it should be left with a gelatinous result that uh, will hopefully give some good body to my candy hearts without giving it a meaty flavor because that'd be a weird flavor for the hearts. So let it chill overnight and harden up it's some gelatin. You came up pretty good. The result is a lot better than my last attempt. This is basically what Jello is, minus the flavoring. Still got a, a slight flavor of some of the pig fat. I think it's mostly just formed on the top, so I can probably cut that off. So I think it should turn out pretty good. Unless I want pig flavored candies, next I'll need to add some flavoring, using a variety of fruits I previously picked from other projects. After dehydrating overnight, I now have all the dried fruits and now I'm going to grind them up into a fine powder so I can use them as a flavoring in the candy hearts. The next, I also wanted to try some less sweet flavors from other items I've grown or collected. It's pretty sour. Not everybody has a sweetheart for Valentine's Day, so I want to do some alternative flavors to kind of uh, appreciate that. Also based on ingredients I previously collected. So I have some coffee, to give it a little bit more of a bitter flavor. I have the lemons to give it a little bit of a sour flavor. And then jalapenos for that burning sensation love sometimes gives you.
So I have the lemon juice now, but I already dehydrated some lemons for the actual flavor. To get the actual sourness, I need to extract the citric acid. That should take a little bit of chemistry, but should be doable. First, we react to the lemon juice with calcium hydroxide to produce calcium citrate. Chill it, and then collect the solids. Then react that with an acid to turn it back into citric acid. Lastly, as an experiment, I also wanted to try one other flavor for candy hearts, shock. So the biggest complaint about candy hearts is that they are a bit chalky and uh, don't have much flavor. So I thought it'd be interesting to try and replicate that by literally making it out of chalk. So you can use it on the sidewalk as well. Chalk, also known as calcium carbonate, can be found in a variety of different things, and one of them is eggs. So I'm going to extract it from the eggs, the eggshells to be specific, that contain calcium carbonate, which is the same compound that's found in chalk. Let's uh, crack open some eggs and extract some chalk. So I'm gonna go through a process of turning this into calcium oxide by baking it at about 1,000 degrees. Then add it to water to produce calcium hydroxide. And then exposing that to air and the calcium carbonate will then react and settle out as precipitation. Lastly, to help cut the hearts, I 3D printed some custom shaped candy cutters. Now I should have everything to make the candy hearts. I have three different fruit flavors I dried dehydrated and ground up into a fine powder. I have three of the less sweet options for the more broken-hearted. I a lemon, some extra citric acid I extracted, some spicy jalapenos, and some bitter coffee. And then I also have the sugar substitute that will be formed the main base of it, the stevia. Super sweet, it's like overpoweringly sweet. A little bit of bitterness, still kind of tastes like the leaf. And as I mentioned, oftentimes stevia is combined with another sugar substitute to kind of balance it out. And for that, I tried to make inulin. Still kind of smells like onions. It's very flat. Definitely tastes like onions. Not super strong, touch of sweetness. Uh, so it actually turned out pretty good. Unfortunately, the yield was kind of small. I also have sugar. This is left over from my previous candies. Just regular sugar cane that I extracted and pulverized. And that is oftentimes also used with stevia to kind of balance it out. And then to act as a base, I have some gelatin. And then I have the chalk that I extracted from eggshells. This will be kind of a, a test to see what people think the candy hearts are actually made out of. Actual candy hearts aren't made from calcium carbonate or chalk like this. What is made from calcium carbonate though is Tums. So at the very least, these hearts will be good for your heartburn. And you can also probably write on the sidewalk with them too. That's something. <laughs> oh, that's bitter. It is definitely sweet. Uh, so we're gonna try adding a little bit of salt. Might help cut the bitterness down. That's tolerable. I think I can work with this. You don't get to try it, Joey. Get out of here. So it's a lot of sugar, just a little bit of stevia, and some pig of a nice base. So I separated into six containers for the six different flavors. Three good, three bad. We'll let's see what happens. Let's start with strawberry. Apple. Raspberry. Spice. Ooh, it's got a kick. Ooh, that burns. Let's do the coffee. We got the lemon. Then the citric acid to give it a little bit of an extra kick. MSR time. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. That is sour. Next, let's make the recipe the people assume candy hearts are made out of chalk. And I had just a hint of flavor of the raspberry. Put on a little bit of gelatin, mix her up. So now I have seven different possible flavors all poured out here, ready to be cut up into actual hearts. I got some hearts for the sweet ones and some broken hearts for the less than sweet ones.
Beautiful, love is messy. So it's been a few days now, drying these guys in the dehydrator, kind of still moist. And for some reason they turned out a little bit more like cookies. I think if I had been able to grind things a little bit finer, that probably would have helped. I'm not sure. The most important thing is a little message on them. How else would you know that I love you? We have our own community here, and I thought, what better source of comments than our comment section on the YouTube channel? Got some of our better ones, just randomly selected them. So we have your, you are cancer, you capitalist dip shit, die asshole. How about you f off, f off and kill yourself. I hope you die in a car fire, f you idiot. Always a classic. And stop being a soy boy cuck. All really enduring messages. So I have the 3D printed stamps. I tried a few different ways to make an ink and the method I found best is to make kind of a basic oil suspension using some flaxseed oil and some carbon. I'm pretty sure it is edible. What should we start with? Let's do a good old dye apple. All right, so unfortunately my attempt at adding some text to it didn't work too well. I also tried using a laser to burn it in. Also didn't work out too well. The biggest issue is so unlevel. When I do it on paper, it actually works pretty good. So I'm just gonna have to resort to the old fashioned way of telling people to f off and kill themselves to their face. Stick these guys out and try some. So let's try these and compare them to the store-bought ones you can have. Then we also did a test batch with store-bought ingredients that uh, turned out a, a little better. I think this is strawberry. This actually looks like a real heart. All right, let's take a bite. Ooh, ooh. That was rough on the teeth. Very strong flavor. It still has a slight bitterness from the stevia, but it's definitely very sweet, not overwhelming. All right, let's try this guy. This is uh, well, that's a strawberry. It's got a little bit more bitterness. Try the apple. Hey, this one's still kind of moist. Very natural flavor to it. It almost tastes like a fruit leather. Cosmetically, not the greatest. Texture-wise, a bit stiff. Let's compare that to some of the store-bought ones we made before. Okay, these are really hard, too. <laughs> once you get into it, they're pretty good. They seem a bit more better balanced. And then let's compare it to the actual store-bought candy hearts. Cutie. Those are really hard, too. <laughs> I feel like the, the sugar is a lot more intense, whereas mine has a stevia, which has a little offness to it. Flavor-wise, it's mostly just sugar, I feel. They're supposedly flavored, barely taste it. So if you're looking for actual flavoring to your candy, homemade ones are actually pretty good. I also have the bad flavored ones. So this is the one made with actual chalk, no sugar at all, just a little bit of flavoring. Let's give it a shot. That's chalk. It's weird because it has the gelatin in it, so it's kind of a little fluffy. Cannot taste the flavoring at all. I have to see how well it actually works as chalk. works. Nice. Still doesn't taste good. Actual chalk-based candy hearts, not good. Tastes like jalapeno. Spice is developing, burning. Actually not that horrible. It's not a bad combination. All right, let's try the coffee. That is actually pretty good. It's got a nice bitterness, a little bit of sweetness. So yeah, it's a touch more in the bitter, which is what I was going for. I'd buy that. And we got some lemon. Ooh, yeah, that's sour. Those guys actually turned out pretty good, I think, all things considered. My stamps didn't really end up working out too well, but for our patrons at the $75 level, I'm gonna send you a set of these yourself so you can try them out. Do you think I did a horrible job and you could do a lot better? Uh, we're starting a new thing called, uh, I forgot what I was gonna call it. Uh, put, put up, like, is that the right phrasing? Like put up your dukes? No, like uh, um, do it yourself, prove you can do it. Yeah. All right, so we're doing a new thing called shut up, put up. It's just called shut up. <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> do you think I did a horrible job and you could do a lot better? So a new thing called put up or shut up, where on our Instagram account, you can share your attempt at making your own candy hearts, and then we will share them on our Instagram and community tab. You can show how much better you are at this than me. HTM everything, share your photos. And in the top comment below, we're gonna put all the ingredients to make it yourself. Good luck. We're also wrapping up our first season of our podcast run, and on it, we're looking at the complexity of modern dating. And we also discuss my personal dating life. It's not a very long conversation.
if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and check out other content we have covering a wide variety of topics. Also, if you've enjoyed these series, consider supporting us on Patreon. We are largely a fan-funded channel and depend on the support of our viewers in order to keep our series going. Thanks for watching.